Word, son. What do you do, YouTube? It's your boy, Jada Vine. All right, before we get into this video, make sure to like button, comment, subscribe. Share the word spread the links because you know how I do. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, man. So, College Football 25 has dropped today, ladies and gentlemen. And I have been playing a few games. If you were in a live stream, uh, you know, y'all saw me play a couple games against Georgia. But a lot of the things that I've seen in this game, ladies and gentlemen, the biggest eyesore to me was this pursuit angle. Like, the pursuit angles in this game are a problem. This isn't even a college football issue. This is a EA Sports legacy issue. There's still pursuit angle problems in Madden. And somehow those problems have made their way over to college football 25. Now, as you can see, as you can see, I got my guy coming down. He's blitzing. First of all, number six didn't even make that block, but whatever. So you got 20 that comes down, and he's sitting down squatting, and he's not even making making an attempt to try to make the tackle. It's like he's stammering, stuttering, not knowing what to do. Mind you, I have two other instances that are just like this. Number 20 again, ladies and gentlemen. He comes down. First of all, if you look at where he's looking at, like he configures himself to go over to the farthest part of his left, and then we're going to circle around to try to make the tackle. You know, like, look, look at how he, how he positions himself. He sees where he's going. So he goes to the left, and then all of a sudden, oh, let me redirect myself back on course. And then now let me try to make that angle or make the tackle at that angle. Ladies and gentlemen, this cannot happen in college football. This can't happen in football, period. This isn't even a college football thing. This can't happen in football, period. You cannot allow someone to sit down and make these types of adjustments and reads. You cannot do this. As a matter of fact, whenever I was watching the, the running back from Michigan, Edwards, when I was watching him play, and a lot of the times where he was scoring, I was seeing a lot of what I'm seeing here. And that's poor angle taking, poor pursuit angles. You know, ladies and gentlemen, it's funny to me how everybody crucified me for pointing out certain things in the gameplay that I feel like shouldn't be a thing or that's a little bit funny looking. Let's tighten up on that. People crucified me in the comments. People made it sound like I was just I was trashing the game. And here, here's the third instance. Here's the third instance right here. Same exact thing. He goes to the outside. He tries to redirect angle. He tries to redirect his angle, ladies and gentlemen. But as you can see, he has a poor pursuit angle. What is making you go all the way that far out and then you want to come back down to try to make a tackle? And then you whiff. Why are these pursuit angles this bad? I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, it's early access. Oh, give them time. We've given them time. Y'all told me in the comments, oh, man, give them time. They've had all this time to get the gameplay right. The game is going to be great. Stop being so negative, blah, 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 blah. I finally get the game in my hands, and this is the eyesore that I see. Ladies and gentlemen, I hate to break it to y'all, but when you see something like this, it's hard to unsee it. Now, from a single-player standpoint, you probably won't mind it as much, but for somebody who's in the competitive scene of, of football or college football or maybe Madden, when you're seeing things like this, this could make or break your game. If you're the one that's running the ball, you think that you just got a badass running back and he cannot be stopped. Nobody can tackle him. Nobody can bring him down. But when you're on defense and you happen to make one of the play calls, you got a guy to make a stop right then and there. You think that he's in a position to make a play and stop the ball carrier, but he puts himself at an angle that is insufficient and allows him to completely just miss the ball carrier on the play. And you, the user who's trying to stop this play, is sitting there scratching your head because you're trying to figure out why exactly is he doing that. You know, what's crazy to me is people will call this nitpicking. This isn't nitpicking. This isn't being negative. People, like I said, crucified me because the game wasn't out. I saw a few things that looked fishy, and I felt like they need to be tightened up on. But because of that, people immediately turned to, oh, you're just being negative. You want the game to be so bad so you can trash it, blah, 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 blah. Everybody turned to that. Everybody sees these videos and think that I'm just trying to 
aim for the game to be perfect. If the game ain't perfect, then I don't want it. Newsflash, ladies and gentlemen, there is no such thing as a perfect game. As much as I talk about 2K5 and All Pro Football 2K, those games aren't perfect. There is no such thing as a perfect game. Games are going to have their shortcomings, and I'm fine with that. But I've always said I want a consistent, cohesive product. Ladies and gentlemen, for y'all to have this game dangling over our heads for years and years on end, they've had all this time to get the gameplay where we want it. And for this to come out and we're dealing with pursuit issues or pursuit angles issues from day one is disturbing to me. And there are other things that I've also captured as well. And we're going to talk about it as, as time goes on, but this is unacceptable. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to end this video. And I just want to say, you know, I want the game to be great. The difference between somebody being negative and just criticizing the game or using constructive criticism, constructive criticism is aimed to make the game better. It's aimed to point out specific problems or flaws within the game so that it can become a better product. Being negative is just talking about, oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like this. That's being negative. You're not offering anything to provide a solution to this, this problem that you're talking about. You're just practically ranting about something that you don't like, but you're not offering any kind of feedback or you're not at least saying, Hey, this is a problem. Y'all should fix this. You're just bashing the game with no point of return with nothing cohesive or, or anything, anything to provide feedback. I'm just as excited as all of y'all that we have college football in our hands again. I'm just as excited. But let's pump the brakes and not have blinders on and really understand what we have in front of us. If you want the game to be better, point out some of the things that aren't going like it's supposed to go in the game like here. And also, even on even on this play here with number 20, over pursuing right here, the guy didn't pick his block up. And that's been a problem that I've talked about in pe- in previous EA titles, including Madden. We've got to nip this in the bud now. So again, if you're excited, I'm glad you're excited. So am I. But we've got to fix these issues, ladies and gentlemen. Let's not be ignorant to the things that happen in this game and overlook it. Because the minute that you do, it'll become the beginning of the end. Already we're called Football 25, and I don't want that. I have other videos coming up. And again, just because I'm excited, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to break this down or I'm not going to showcase some of the issues that are running in this game. Because just like y'all, I want a good college football game. And it starts with pointing out issues such as this. Hopefully y'all enjoyed, man. Make sure to like button, comment, subscribe. Share the word spread links because you know how I do. But I'm going to get up out of here, man. It's your boy J. Devine, and I'm signing out. Peace.